when using your Commodore 64 keyboard as an Amiga keyboard, you'll quickly notice that there's a lot of keys missing. The C64 keyboard has a lot fewer keys, and the layout is different, as you can see between the two of them here. We have an original Commodore 64 keyboard, and we have an Amiga 2000 keyboard. The run stop key acts kind of like a function key or FN key on a laptop. In this core, the run stop key no longer brings up the on-screen display for the Minimeg core. The run stop key and the back key will bring up that on-screen display. The back arrow on its own acts like the escape key on the Amiga 2000 keyboard. The instant delete key on the Commodore 64 keyboard acts as the backspace key on the Amiga keyboard. The clear home key acts as the delete key. So the function keys on the C64 keyboard only go 1 through 8. The Amiga goes through 10. Run, stop, and function 1 acts as F9 on the Amiga keyboard. Run, stop, and F3 acts as the F10 key on the Amiga keyboard. Run, stop, and F7 acts as the help key on the Amiga keyboard. Run, stop, and control acts as the tab. For a left Amiga key, it's the Commodore key. Run, stop, and left shift is the left alt key. Run, stop, and up, down is the right alt key. Run, stop, and left, right is the right Amiga key. While the Amiga 600 did not have a keypad, most Amiga models did have a keypad, and some software took advantage of it. So, here are the equivalents for the keypads on the Commodore 64 keyboard. Run, stop, 7, 8, 9 is the same as 7, 8, 9. Run, stop, U, I, O is the same as 4, 5, and 6. Run, stop, and J, K, L is 1, 2, 3. Got to keep you on your toes. Run, stop, and M is 0. Run, stop, and return is enter on the keypad. Run, stop, and P is the print screen. Run, stop, and 0 is the forward slash. Run, stop, and at is the num lock. Run, stop, and asterisk is the screen lock. Run, stop, and colon is the minus key. Run, stop, and forward slash is the plus key. Due to the limitations of the C64 keyboard matrix, once you start holding down three or more keys, you can start to have problems. You may not get the desired outcome. There may, such as a fourth key, may be ghosting. This is a limitation that really can't be worked around. It's just a limitation of the C64 as designed. If you come across some combinations, you're just going to have to try to find some kind of work around. It's just unfortunate, but it is the way it is. Luckily, the most common three-key formation would work, because I've tried it out. The run-stop key with the Commodore key, and then M and sometimes N, you can switch between screens. That's the equivalent of the left Amiga key, and then M and N. M and N. If this is useful for you, please go over to Course for Chameleon and consider becoming a patron. The Amiga Core for the Turbo Chameleon is very refined.
Anyhow, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.